Welcome to a demo of Datadog's AWS monitoring solution. First, let me set the stage. As a site reliability engineer for a retail company, I have to make sure our AWS services meet their uptime requirements. That means I need insight into performance metrics for my applications and services. But my team has to piece together data from different tools, which can lead to long hours of troubleshooting, delayed mean time to resolution, and less time spent on feature delivery. This year, my organization is using Datadog to improve cross-team visibility and cut down on MTTR. I use Datadog's AWS and agent integrations to ensure my organization gets complete coverage for our entire tech stack. And whenever my team adds new AWS accounts into our environment, it's simple to set up monitoring for them in just a few clicks. Since I use AWS organizations to administer my various AWS accounts, I can easily add new ones by choosing the CloudFormation Stack Set option. It eliminates any need for me to manually set up each account separately. Any new AWS accounts added to my AWS organization are automatically integrated with Datadog, immediately collecting all my metrics, tags, resources, and events so I can get the end-to-end -end observability I need. With my AWS accounts and services configured, I can access preset data visualizations for my mission-critical AWS services. As a SRE lead, my AWS overview page is the ideal place to get a high-level picture of the health and performance of my AWS applications. Since I have Datadog's AWS integration installed, I can track a variety of different metrics, from CPU utilization in my Amazon EC2s, to latency in my Amazon Elastic Load Balancers, to execution errors in my AWS Lambda functions. As a SRE, I care about scoping these performance metrics to specific applications. With Datadog's intuitive tagging, I can easily filter the dashboard to the service I care about by filtering by service. And if I want to drill down to the AWS service level, I can click into the preset dashboards Datadog provides in the description box, or go directly to the dashboard list and find the specific AWS service dashboard I'm searching for. In the right-hand corner of my AWS overview page, I can quickly check if there are any issues in my systems. Right now, I see that my monitors have set off a few alerts. To get a better understanding of what's causing these errors, I'm going to zoom out and get a bird's eye view of my AWS infrastructure. Each hexagon represents a host anywhere in my AWS infrastructure. And right now we're looking at them color-coded by CPU utilization. Datadog automatically pulls in tags from cloud providers and integrations, and I can even add my own custom tags. For example, I can group by team, application, or service. For now, I'll group by the region tag to see how our infrastructure is split across multiple regions. And since I'm using containerized applications and serverless architecture, I want to see how my containers are performing. The Datadog agent automatically discovers new containers as they're spun up, so I never have to worry about losing visibility as I scale up or down. I notice one of my container deployments is colored in red indicating it's running hot and using more RSS memory than average. I'm going to jump into my containers page for more detailed information. This is the live container view, which gives me complete coverage of my container infrastructure in a continuously updated table to pivot between the most relevant metrics, processes, traces, and logs when troubleshooting to resolve an incident. I'll find similar information for my serverless architecture in the Datadog serverless view. My team has been using serverless architecture to power some of our retail applications, like fulfill orders and process billing. Datadog serverless view brings together telemetry from all my serverless resources in my AWS environment. Lambda functions, APIs, message queues, and more, making it the ideal starting point for monitoring, debugging, and optimizing my apps. I can easily see at a glance that the potential issues such as errors, timeouts, cold starts, and high memory usage are highlighted in the insights column. These automatically generated insights use a combination of metrics, traces, and logs from my Lambda functions to identify and flag those that are failing or performing poorly. This allows my teams and I to begin troubleshooting errors or optimize our function's resource allocation quickly. Now that I've reviewed my hosts, containers, and serverless apps for any issues, I want to see how my microservices are performing. My org has been shifting away from monolithic apps toward microservices. And while they simplify app building, it can also be difficult to visualize. To see ownership, interdependencies, and real-time performance among my retail microservices, I use the service catalog. 
The service catalog is a central hub of what my organization knows about its services. All the services in my environment are visualized in our service map view, intelligently clustered based on how frequently they talk to one another. So even when we have hundreds of microservices, new engineers can easily make sense of our systems. At a glance, I can see one of our critical services web store has an alert on it. From here, I can immediately see which dependencies, both upstream and downstream, are also triggering alerts and then pull in the relevant teams. I can also jump into a deeper view of web store with service overview, or dive into the related traces and processes with the click of a button. But since an alert was triggered on web store, let's examine the logs that have been generated by the service in order to pinpoint the root cause. With one click, I can see how the context is recreated for us and I'm directed to all of the relevant logs correlated to the web store service. And because everything is parsed on ingestion, I can find and investigate the error logs we need by just clicking on filters. So even if this is another team's logs, data discovery has never been easier with our helpful autocomplete and context-rich menus. I can also narrow our search by grouping together related logs and servicing what matters the most with our patterns feature. Now I see that of the 126,000 error logs, I really only have 56 types of error logs, giving my team more actionable context to continue our investigation. Another thing that sets Datadog's log management apart is Livetail. In the case of a live outage or emergency, I can use Livetail to view all of my logs live as they stream into the platform, regardless of whether I'm indexing them or not. Datadog ingests all logs coming in, but only some are valuable for indexing. I can be efficient with which logs to retain, thanks to logging without limits. Logging without limits gives me flexibility. If I need to keep more, fewer, or different logs, I can do that at any time in the UI. It's clear that there are a lot of potential things that can go wrong in a system. As a result, my team can experience alert fatigue with the sheer volume of notifications coming in. Since using Datadog, we've made our alerts specific and actionable. I've been using Datadog's recommended monitors to simplify the process of setting up alerts. As an AWS shop, I'm leveraging out-of-the-box monitors to get coverage on essential metrics from AWS services like AWS Lambda, Amazon SQS, Amazon EC2, and Amazon RDS in minutes. Once I set up my AWS integration, it's second nature to incorporate these actionable alerts into my monitoring workflow and gain access to established monitoring practices for my AWS services. I also use Watchdog, Datadog's AI ops engine, to alert on any AWS infrastructure issues. Watchdog observes trends and patterns on Amazon S3, Amazon ELB, AWS CloudFront, and Amazon DynamoDB, and flags any irregularities to my team. It also provides suggested next steps to remediate. So in just a few minutes, I've got an end-to-end -end visibility across my AWS environment. My organization is able to share dashboards across teams offload undifferentiated monitoring tasks, and focus our time on bringing features to market. Above all else, we can rely on the same single source of truth. To get full AWS observability at scale, start a free trial directly on the Datadog website.